Sorensen gets his head to the ball. Cantwell is beaten in the air. McLean goes looking for it, but Rinomoto got there first. In the end, it's a stretching Andrew Omobamadeli who puts it into the Cardiff half. Neither side really in control of it at the moment. It's a proper championship scrap. Uh, scrap. Now Cardiff do play it out to the left-hand side. O'Dowder, who was released by Bristol City at the end of last season, trying a, a trick on the left-hand side. Left edge of the Norwich penalty area. A back heel, and then the cross comes into the penalty area. goes right through the Norwich six-yard box. Nobody on the end of it. Uh, and uh, Inunis will pick it up and will bring it away. That's the first little moment of danger we've seen in this opening game of the season. Romeo, the right back. Plays the ball to a teammate who gives it away and McLean's given it to Campbell. Edge of the area, Campbell with a curling shot. Keeper makes a fine save. That's the first shot on target for Norwich City this season. It's Todd Cantwell, a curling effort from about 22 yards, and Ryan Allsop tips it round the post. Norwich just bursting into life there after a Cardiff mistake. Yeah, a great interception right, right to Cantwell's feet. Great touch. Gets himself about 25 metres out. Keepers scrambling across the goal. Curling shot, just going inside the post. And, and actually a really good save. Forward. Now Sorensen on the right-hand side. Riding a couple of challenges. He's got a lovely goal in pre-season against Marseille. And Norwich 1-3-0. He's got the ball on the right wing there. Gives it to McLean, who steps in from the right wing. Looks for Puki back towards McLean, but the move breaks down. And Cardiff have got it, and they're on the counter-attack here with Ojo up on the halfway line. Quickly got Norwich players around him, but he's kicked away from three of them in one move there, Ojo. He's gone out towards the left-hand side in order to keep the attack going. He's 30 yards from goal, and he's still going. And in the end, he's going to hit one. No power on it. Easy for Tim Krull to get behind. Yanoulis, nice pass to Rashica, who sets off over the halfway line here, Puki's offside, so doesn't go for it, but Yanoulis is onside, and he's away into the penalty area, crosses from the left, oh, beyond Puki, beyond Sargent, it wasn't a good ball, and it's gone behind for a goal kick, and both the American and the Finn are looking at the Greek fullback and saying, that's the best position we've been in attacking-wise all game, oh, and you didn't he deliver. Oh, struck that with a seven iron, that's all he needed was a little pitching wedge, just to literally cut it back, lovely, with a nice bit of pace, just enough for them to run onto it. Now to Wintle, Wintle away from Cantwell in the middle of the pitch, as it goes to the right-hand side of Marlon Romeo, it's Norwich's turn to look organised defensively and challenge Cardiff to try and break them down, it's a, a role reversal. Yeah at the start of the second half, but Kipri has found Romain Sawyers in the midfield. He plays the ball early towards the left-hand side. It's held in play by O'Dowder, who skips past Aarons. Now back to Sawyers, 25 yards out. He's going to hit a shot, and he's gone all the way through! And Cardiff have scored! And it's Romain Sawyers, who played under Dean Smith at Walsall and played under Dean Smith at Brentford, who has just scored against Dean Smith's Norwich City. That came from nowhere. About 25 yards out, he had a bouncing shot through a crowd of players beyond Tim Krull into the corner of the net. And on the opening day, it is Cardiff City 1, Norwich City 0. Capwell's free kick, Omar Bamadeli flicks it on, it's a header that's gone straight up in the air in the end though, and Cardiff clear it away, and up towards the halfway line where Aarons is perfectly stationed. But he hasn't really dealt with it, and it's only a poor touch from O'Dowder that allows Sorensen to get it back for Norwich City. Rashica's in a good position on the right-hand side, he's got it, can he take the game to Cardiff now? Corner of the penalty area, can't. Blocked by Collins, the ability for Norwich City, it was a real problem last season to play that quality ball into the box, and they've not improved it so far in this game, but here's Campwell trying to do something about it. He's won a corner on the right-hand side. Campwell's corner, right-hand side, played in, and it's hit the bar from McClay! Hanley misses the rebound, he's on the floor completely, but here's Rashica in the box. Chance might not have gone yet, squeezes the ball across, it's cleared by Cardiff. That was a great corner from Campwell, and McLean got something on it, and it looped over the goalkeeper and hit the bar. Oh, I just thought it had enough lack of pace just to drop in under the bar. Wintel is going to take it from the right-hand side. He actually aims it towards the edge of the penalty area. Uh, O'Dowd has got there, gets the ball into the box, but it's easily cleared by Norwich City initially. Slightly loose header there from Cardiff, allowing Puki in. Puki's been dragged back by Joe Rawls, and that has to be a yellow card, because Norwich were away then. They would have had, a, I think, three against two. And Puki's got up, and now... Oh, here we go. Bamadeli has gone in, and he has shoved Perry NG to the ground, and we've got a scrap breaking out here, involving oh, pretty much everybody on the pitch. Now Puki's hit the deck. He's been shoved over, and there's a real scrum. Both goalkeepers are out, joining in. We've got a couple of players down on the ground, and the referee, Tim Robinson, is uh, keeping himself away from all this. Both of the assistant referees are on the pitch. Grant Hanley's been booked. 
That's interesting. Joe Rawls, he started this all off with the, that initial challenge. He's been booked. And does the referee take any further action? Wow. I can't tell you what Grant Hanley did in there. I didn't see it. But he's been shown a yellow card. Haven't really created enough in this game. And Omar bemadeli has been dispossessed. And here's O'Dowda getting it towards Harris, the substitute. He's a long way out. He's got up towards the edge of the penalty area. He's played it into the box. Gibbs with a really good challenge there in his own box. His first involvement for the Norwich first team was an important one. To prevent Cardiff from Cardiff get a second, that's going to be so difficult for Norwich City. We've only got 18 minutes to go. It's played up by Gibbs towards Rashica. Left-hand side. He chipped his way past Perry NG, who's yeah. on a yellow card and seemed to drag him back there. Now, and that's, that, a, that's a sending kick. off. That, yeah, okay, that, that's, that's a booking, isn't it? That okay. is a booking. So, the, the, the reality is... And it may be, he's calling him over. Yes, yes. Perry NG could be sent off fouling. here. Yes, it's a second yellow card and a red. Cardiff are down to ten. And that melee we had with so many players getting involved, it, it always felt like it was the sort of thing that could have a, an impact on this game, and it has, because Perry NG was booked for his role in that, and he's now been sent off, and he can't have any complaints, because he dragged Rashica back any other time in the game. That is a, a, a clear yellow card, it had to be a yellow card there, and NG's already been booked, so he's been sent off. Uh, Campwell finds Aarons, who's onside, he's in a wide position, but he cuts in immediately into the penalty, it goes Max Aarons, it's a good run, Aarons, it's opened up for him here, gets the shot in, and suddenly Kipra dives in, blocks, and the ball goes behind, and a goal kick is given, must have come back off Aarons, who scored the first goal of his Norwich City career here, in only his second appearance in a League Cup tie back in 2018, and it just looked as if he might open Cardiff up, but there were just too many players back there. <laughs> Here's Marlon Romeo on halfway, plays it through. There's a touch from Cardiff, there was a foul by Hanley, and the referee's going to give a free kick. He's struggling here. Yeah. Hanley has already been booked, and the Cardiff supporters are baying He's going. for blood, He's going and I here. think Grant Hanley may be walking here. Referee has called him over, this is either going to be a very, very last warning, or Grant Hanley is going to become the, the second player to be sent off. Yellow card, red card, Grant Hanley walks. The Norwich City skipper on this opening day of the season in the Championship is sent off for a second bookable offence. And it all comes down to that huge melee, that huge scrap we had just after Cardiff had gone 1-0 up because two of the players that were booked in that, Cardiff's Perry NG, Norwich's Grant Hanley, have both now been sent off. Danani's ball forward, that's a decent ball. Hernandez is goal side here to the left of the penalty area. Cross it in! Oh, and the goalkeeper takes the catch. It wasn't a good cross in the end from Hernandez. Hugh Gill was waiting. There may be chances yet for Norwich City. Two minutes to go. Campwell plays it over the top. Sam McCallum's onto it, and he's onside. McCallum on the left wing. Tries to play it across. That's a fantastic tackle. Sensational from Romeo. And it's out for a Norwich City uh, corner. Which McCallum's taken quickly and taken short to Cantwell. Four to players to aim for in the penalty area. Cantwell's cross, Hugel beaten in the air by Nelson. And uh, Colin should uh, prevent the corner, but he's headed it straight into the path of McLean on the right-hand side. Norwich still attack. McLean, curling cross, headed away again by Cardiff. Uh, Sinani puts it back in the area, looping ball. Goalkeeper should come and get it, and oh, he's missed it. And he's, has he taken out Hernandez there? Referee says no, it's gone behind, and it's going to be a goal kick.